The Share Harvest Farming MIS is essentially divided into two components, data entry and the ability to report on your data. This training will focus on the basics of building, navigating, and exporting a report. To open the Reports window, select the Reports icon in the main window. This icon is located in the middle of the toolbar, and it looks like a bar graph. Once inside the report screen, you will notice a list of all of the reports available to you. There are reports for all of the activity categories in SureHarvest. There are also some extra reports on things like documents, block setup configuration, weather data, and contracts. The first step is to select a report from this list. For this demonstration, we will focus on an activity summary report. The next step is to select locations using the hierarchy pane in the middle of the report screen. To select all locations, check the box next to your enterprise. This toggle feature also works for any level in the hierarchy above a block, such as a ranch. Next, set a date range and activity status filters for your report. There are four ways to set a date. The first way is by calendar year. There's also a moving date range based on a context. You can set specific dates. And you can also set an advanced date range. Activity status allows you to filter your reports by completed, scheduled printed, or scheduled activities. For this demo, I would like to see all the activities left scheduled for the year of 2012. You are also able to apply additional filters or settings for a report by using the Content Settings button. In the Activity Summary Reports, the content filters are for the different activity categories. There are also filters for personnel, equipment, and commodity. Content settings change for every category of report. A good example would be to look at a sampling report. If we open the content settings now, we'll see that they're very different from the activity summary reports. Content settings are really important for sampling because they allow the user to decide which sampling items they would like to view. The user can select as many or as little sampling items as they like. For our current example, I would like to build our report to include all of the activity categories. I'll select the report and check the content settings to make sure everything looks okay. Lastly, select show and your report will open in a new window with results based on your selections. In the Reports Viewer, you'll find some additional functionality in the toolbar. The first icon allows you to print the report. The icon that looks like an envelope allows you to export and save in a variety of formats.
The toggle group tree icon creates a separate hierarchy of different report groupings. You can use these groupings to navigate to different areas of your report. You can also hover inside the report and double click on a grouping to create a sub report. And if you want to get rid of your sub reports, hit the refresh icon. To navigate through the different pages of your report, simply use the page forward and page back arrows at the top of the toolbar. If you build a report that works well for you, we encourage you to save it as a template. This will save the location, state range, and content settings of your report and make it accessible both from the reports window and the main window in SureHarvest. Choose a report template name that makes sense to you, select OK, and you'll find your new template in the list of reports. If you navigate back to the main window of Sure Harvest, you'll be able to find your report template under the Reports drop-down. Select the report category and find your template in this list. If you select it from this list, your report will pull up automatically. This concludes our video training on how to build a report. For more help, contact the Sure Harvest customer success team.